Actually, before we move over to no, let's move over to Adam. It makes sense. So yeah, yeah, yeah Adam at Wax Show. Um, he finally, because you know, I don't even care about the interviews Adam does about the whole tape, mm-hmm. the gift that keeps on giving. This is one month later. Yeah. At this point, it doesn't matter what Adam says on anybody's platform. He can go to Bradley Martin, which he did, and talked about the tape. And he can go to TMZ and talk about the tape. He can do all that wolf and bark on the internet when he gets in front of WAC 100. Uh, yep. WAC 100 brings that nigga back down to earth. Better to than, reality. He's better than anybody else. Whack one, talking to WAC 100 is like not wearing shoes on grass. You're going to get grounded. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, like, yeah. Whack is like, Whack cut straight to it. He said, as a man, I don't care what you say. I'm worried about you because as a man, no man can watch their wife get came in. And then she got so into it, she took it out and eat it. I know that fucked you up. Mm -hmm. He straight up said that to his face to the point that Adam edited the clip. You could, there was a hard cut after that because his reaction must have been out of character. Right, and, right, right. And to where he must have cried. He must have said something, and because at because the very next clip, he Steinberg. Whack is just like rolling into another question, and niggas is like, Whack got him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like he clearly says something that Whack had had Whack like. He was like, cut that shit out. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, the editors worked. Is, <sighs> it's tricky because I, at first, I thought Adam wasn't really tripping off of it. Yeah, but maybe. It's eating him up now. I think. It's it's starting to develop. Like I think so. because people think he is mad, it's getting him to that point. I think it's a little bit more. The thing that really threw him off his pivot was when Jason Love started doing interviews. He was fine until Jason Love started doing interviews, and it started with that fan bus thing that we mm-hmm. talked about last week, where he was talking about the pie cream. Yeah, and he was really just <laughs> saying, and then he also said. Moon obviously, times. I do her. Obviously, I did her better than her husband does. So Adam said on the Adam and Wax show, he was like, "We, me and my wife, were doing great," until he started running his mouth and kind of messing up the situation and made. He's claiming it made her feel bad, which is true, which is true, and I believe it a little bit because this is. I think this is the the, the sick part that like the Adam and Lena people don't understand. It doesn't matter how kinky you are, right? Any man who will hit your wife and also say, I wouldn't let my wife do the same thing that I'm doing to your wife. Yeah, there's a respect there. There's a kink level of respect where y'all wanted to do this and that's fine. I I respect it. But on a man level, obviously I look down on you right. because I wouldn't have done that. So what's hurting them, I think, is they thought they were on the even respect level. And when in these interviews, he's like, nigga, I, would, I literally wouldn't have done that. You know what I'm saying? And now. Nigga thought he was getting punked when he yeah, got the message. Yeah, he yeah. thought he had a friend in him. And it was like, you're not respecting it. He's like, no, no, no. It's not, he's respecting his job. That's why he did his job. Yeah. But. Very well, according very to Very well, according to Better than uh, any job has ever been done on According that to Lena. But you're not. Get, y'all think that. No, no, no. You have, like, Lena, you have control over Adam. You don't have control over this man. The, you know what I'm saying? This man, Jason Love, knows only a weak man will let another dude pipe his wife out on camera a month after they got married. That's how Jason's thinking. Just because I don't share that, if I say anything about y'all, I'm not disrespecting y'all, but it's like, it's it's weird. It's I don't know. It's kind of weird. Yeah, shout out to Jason Love and his whole, like, fake taxi interview. That yeah, whatever the fuck that well, was. Well, he was on horrible decisions. That just dropped today. Shit. Oh shit. I, yeah, I, I, I watched on, that episode. I started watching it like five minutes before y'all got here. I, I'm not finishing that. Oh, shit. for real? Yeah, hell no. I'm what, not finishing. What that. happened? It was just like they were like fanning out some because you know they they little freaks. Yeah, Mandy yeah, and yeah, yeah. Wheezy. Mm-hmm. They probably got piped and out. And it right was after, just like right it, it's what <laughs> what. <laughs> Yeah, with, with, got, his, with his big it, black piece, huh? They yeah. Got, huh? Yeah. They probably got piped out yeah. right after. He, he, he said that shit like Steinberg. He said it like Steinberg. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. He's like, fair. That's fair. He's like, that's fair. He's like you didn't get piped out right after. That's fair. That's fair. It came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere like a subconscious. I was like. No, I was like, yeah, they probably just getting piped out before or after. It's probably because of Matona House said it. Yeah, it was. It was crazy. It sounded like you rubbed your hands. Nah, nah, nah. It sounded like you was trying to tell you if your hands was 
think he has. Yeah. yeah. That's hilarious. But uh <laughs> yeah, I mean like five minutes in, I don't know. It was just yeah. like this episode's not for me. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like for the I saw, Yeah, I saw a little clip <laughs> where they were he was talking about Adam and Lena again, pretty much saying the same thing that he has been saying on the fan. Pussy was oh, you know what I mean? But like but I thought I was like, oh, maybe I'll watch the beginning of it. But like five minutes in, I was like, yep, not finishing this episode. You yeah, know what I mean? Say, it's yeah. just like it's it's for women. You know what I'm saying? That episode. It's one of those where they just going crazy over there. Yeah, because they're just like talking about this. We can't even get past how attractive this nigga oh, is. Yeah, like we're talking crazy. about that. Oh, for fi- yeah, we're talking dub. about that for five minutes. That's a dub. I'm good. I'll yeah. if there's any viable clips, they'll that's they'll they'll, they'll, they'll find they'll, you. Because I've never because I've yeah. never actually watched a full episode of their show. I actually really haven't watched their clips. Honestly, I, I, I know them bitches don't know he has a book. And he's okay. a published author. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 28, 28 yeah. page novels. Mm-hmm. P- they did, definitely didn't ask that, bit, uh, that nigga how a bill becomes a law. Yeah. Definitely not, nigga. 20, 20 I've only been exposed novels. to them really through like brilliant idiots. Boy, I, literally. When I first heard about them, I listened to a couple of their full episodes, not all of them, which is interesting because like horrible decisions, I would struggle to watch a full episode, but I could watch a full episode of lip service though. I feel that yeah, I can watch that. I can watch that. But um, I can watch a full episode of Lip Service, but not horrible decisions. But through my through my exposure to them, it's like I really only kind of fuck with Weezy for the most part. That's how I'm. I'm on the same vibe too. Yeah, Yeah, I'm good on Mandy. Horrible decisions are those two light skinned chicks. Oh, okay. One with short hair. One with well, Weezy is like part of the flagrant world as well too. Right. Her and Alex. Yeah, her and Alex. Media own the studio. Own the. Can you look them up? Own the WTF studio. Weezy. I got you. Um, but yeah. Mandy's voice drives me fucking insane. So. Which is important in podcasting. Yeah. You got to like what you're hearing. But sometimes I like people with annoying voices. Like, uh, I think L'Oreal has an annoying voice, but I like L'Oreal. I can't stand that bitch. For real? Whoa. Didn't, weren't they signed to Joe? Well, they, Mandy was. Man, Mandy on the right was. Yeah, oh, Mandy was. Okay. She was. But yeah, yeah, that's, that's her though. Okay. I mean, I don't know. What you mean? You, I do seem entertained. Uh, I do it. That's that's your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they seem entertained. I was I was not about to objectify them, Mister Faithful. No, nah, I thought you. Was t- I thought you was doing the uh, the Drake thing. No, man. I, I mean, was, I mean, Weezy could definitely get it. I can't tell if you're trolling this right now. You Steinbergin this nigga. I don't know if I'm either too. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't. Mm. Yeah, you would. Stop it. I would. How do we get there? But yeah, so from Adam twenty two. Yeah, Adam and uh, and Jason Love. It's 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 getting to him. It's getting to him. Matter of fact, I put the clip in there. I put the yeah. Clip there's in a the bunch notes. of them in there. No, that's not him talking yeah. about. He's uh, starting to lose his cool. That's not him talking about. There's only one. It's called. There's only one clip talk to him, talking about it. This one right here on the Reddit. What yes. if Jason Love had like a a regular sized dick? But he just fucked good. Would this be a, even a thing? I think that's what's happening. Mm. No, I think it's big. This like, sounds crazy. Whoa, what? <laughs> Did y'all just hear what the fuck I just said? <laughs> what are y'all talking about? <laughs> I said, if this <laughs> nigga had a regular size dick, <laughs> I said, would it be a big, like, would this still be a it situation? Would still, it would still be a big deal. Yeah. But when, you, when y'all said, nah, it's still big. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Don't push it on him. What did you say? What did you say? I think that's what's happening. He, and he said, it's big. <laughs> I, okay, I can't wait till Tuesday, nigga. I'm going to rewatch this shit. No, I said, I think that that's exactly what's happening. And he was like, nah, shit is humongous. But that makes sense yeah. because last episode, Y'all tried to make me seem like I was crazy for not preferring Big Black Dick. So, of course, <laughs> you <laughs> niggas will be the experts on Big Black Dick. No. Okay, here we no. go. And you're, and, you're, and you're the expert of white of white cock. <laughs> and that's how you have to say it, too. White, white you're cock. You're right. <laughs> this episode's for whites only. You know what I'm saying? Holy shit. That's a lot of white shit. Going that's on. hilarious. This is Adam. This is, this is, this is whack pressing Adam. <laughs> all right, all right. How did you say that he's uh, blackballed from having part two? That was Jason Love. That's who we talking about. Right, yeah. Why, why I say he's blacklisted? Because he was talking too spicy on the interview. What did he say wrong? Uh, he was just being a little bit too much of like the downing my, my penis power. He was like, you know, it's just the way he was talking you about You the it. one said that the man was whatever. You complimented his shit. You, you said the dude's like a something dude and whatever. 
A something dude? You said about it. You big guy. You said that. It kind of fucks. But it's, but it's funny because we understood what he we was know saying. We know exactly what he means, you, nigga. You cop, you... I, <laughs> it's like that's the only way to say it, nigga. Yeah, hey, you gotta say this in non of pee, nigga. Bro, whack is the fucking best, bro. Choking like Lena. <laughs> yeah, dog. But, but, do you understand Adam's point? I definitely no. understand. I understand it. <laughs> no, of, I, me either. Because I, I don't think that you can get mad at a nigga. You want a nigga nah. to respect you after you let him hit his wife. Nah. Now, I'm giving you the facts. It's a certain level of etiquette. No. Right? That yes. As businessmen, we got to have, you know what I mean? And yeah. once, well. imagine, like, even though you wouldn't, imagine, you know, this happened to you and the dude goes on the fucking line. He's talking about how. He pipes, you know, your girl better than you. He fucking earned it. But yeah, okay, but he, I'm a professional. That's why you hired me. He you hired a- me because I was better. And on top of that, mm-hmm. I'm supposed to stay silent while you go on a fucking campaign tour with referring to me as the BBC? That's right. not why he was hired. He was hired as the object, not because he was better. He you was get what hired, I'm saying? He was hired as both. No, he you was did. hired as nigga, like, the fantasy. It's like when you rent a Phantom for a music video. Like, right. nigga, you need the coolest car. He was the coolest car. He wasn't like... Yeah. yeah, but you can't keep talking. You can't keep talking about me and referring to me as an object and think I'm not about to get my opinion. I think it's been disrespectful how they've been... Re- what the referring to him? I feel like it's been disrespectful how they've been referring to... Yo, a bunch of natural shit. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's been disrespectful how they've been referring to Jason Love this entire time. Yeah, people, they've been treating him like King Kong, been, right? Bro, they literally haven't even been calling his name. They've been calling him the BBC. The Beast. That's crazy. Like, uh, that's good so branding, though. That's wait, good marketing for AJ, him. AJ, if you me. were the Beast, if that was your, like, your, your, your um, what's your it called? Moniker. Your moniker. His your moniker of Raleigh. That's not his moniker, though. But if, if no, people made it your moniker. If that was yours. Okay, okay. If you were the Beast. Okay. Like, you walk in a room and, like, niggas like, yo, that's the beast. You were the dick that they called upon to fuck people's wives, nigga. Okay. Or it's not even, it's just, just nigga, you were referred to as the beast. The Kraken. Okay, how you. could you, how, or why would you not want to be the Kraken? How are you going to find that disrespect? Well, the only reason is because maybe this is the. Because. Exactly. It's okay. It's a white man. It's already got that, it's already that weird racial thing going on. And then I'm already, so I'm just, well, I'm, it's like. Uh, I feel that. It's got this. Um. My wife picked the best nigga in the stable, and we gave you, we let you in the house to fuck her, and now, and now, yeah. now you got the nerve to talk about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And talk about mean. me. Yeah, I fuck. Yeah, yeah, I fuck better than the slave owner. Yeah. And he's like, "Oh, nigga, you ain't better. You ain't finna be talking. We be, we banning you from L.A. now." Well, you see, you see the worst, the most disrespectful, one of the most disrespectful things you can do to a man is to fuck his girl. After that. Talking about it, that's like that. Uh, there's a bigger issue here. He's having an issue with everything, but what actually happened. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because the actual fucking part is just strictly biz. That was just it's its own thing. It doesn't yeah. even matter. It, it was a little like, bit. Of, it was a little bit of pleasure too. But yeah, yeah, it's it was like it definitely didn't even business happen. though. It's but, like they both found pleasure in it. Yeah, Adam probably it's, liked it too. It's also he the it's it. also the response like that that he listed from Adam's wife. You know yes. saying? That's what makes it even crazier. And then it was like the way he was saying it, like, yo, like my, my piece went numb. I ain't even know I nutted. You're like, nigga, how is that possible? Yeah, like, I ain't never heard that how, shit like that. What type yeah, of, I, what? That is kind of <laughs> crazy. Yeah, yeah. What? That whole him explaining how he ended up nutting her, I, that, was, that shit didn't make no damn yeah, sense. Nah. Whenever he talks about fucking a girl, it's literally only he can experience it because right. it's only him with yeah. it. Like, There's only one cracking. Fuck? It's only one beast. There's only one beast. Yeah. It's only one. But yeah, let's watch the... Uh, it's only one beast. <laughs> yeah. Let's watch the rest of this film. Look shit up for me and my girl because beforehand he seemed like a good participant in all pause, this pause, and we pause, even pause, watched pause, the tapes. Y'all niggas Just pause so much. Real, but, but real quick. Wait. Real quick. Participant. Is it, yeah, I caught that too. But is it weird that he keeps referring to his wife as his girl? Yeah, it's always been weird. He's been doing that since they've been engaged. Mm. The nigga's weird, bro. <laughs> this nigga Adam is a fucking weirdo. Like let's uh, not let's not lose ourselves. This is a white person episode. He pays this, somebody to fuck his wife and I'm a lot asking of shit if that's that weird. Adam does, he's mm-hmm. like the Adam is like the definition of like this this white boy with no morals that will do anything for money. 
that some actions can't be described. He's a slut. It's fucking weird. It's yeah. capital. It's like it's weird. It's just weird. Uh, let's let's continue. <laughs> let's see. And he seemed like a good participant in all this and we even watched the tape together we were kind of turned on by it we had been fucking like crazy and then that whole thing happened with him speaking out of turn about me and she was so bummed about it that she said she can't even like watch the tape and i don't want to watch it so now it's like we gotta we gotta fast forward past that shit because he kind of ruined it she's only doing that because you start crying i was not crying nigga she received Orgasms. No, she no. Climax. Who told the you that? What you mean that now was she's no. bummed out about it? I'm gonna have to consult the record books now. You are alleging that there was an orgasm. <laughs> she telling you she didn't come. That's how you know she did. I love that people like you think everything in porn is real. She ate. He ate her pussy. The bitches told me. Why did you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love this nigga. Yeah, I pussy. absolutely love this <laughs> nigga. White one hundred. But does the fact. That after Jason said what he said, they can no longer watch the scene, prove that what Jason said was right. Like, yeah. if somebody said that they fucked your bitch better than you, and that got you upset to the point where you couldn't watch the video of you fucking this bitch, does that, like, are you kind of confirming what he's saying? It is. Like, Lily can't even look at that shit no more because well, it reminds her how inferior Adam is. She knew, he, she knew this is better than anything that I've been experiencing. And. It's just like one of those unspoken things that she just wish he'd never said out loud. And, but you see, I think, I think she liked it. She loved but it. She I loved think it. Um, that's how they just marketed it. Like they exaggerated her liking it. And nah. that was like the marketing tool. Like, yeah, baby, you know, you're going to say you really, really enjoyed it. Right. You know, times that shit by 10. And... That was the marketing and tool. And that's what Jason loved. That was the marketing tool. Yeah. And so it's like, nigga... I I showed you this hand. How are you gonna try to play me with the hand I showed you? Right, it's right, like right. this was all a ploy in itself. But a yeah. ploy so can a, blo a ploy can like blow up on you. It so can, you can so, the domino effect can you know what fucking happen. So it's like he might have set this up for it to be some extreme like play into it. But when she get in the moment and she really fucking loves it, <laughs> nigga, how is that going? Or, now that's gonna flip on Adam. He's on some shit like, well, goddamn, I set it up, but I didn't think it was gonna go this way. Or Jason you think Lowe. Adam popped the blue chew the first time he hit it after? For sure. Did you <laughs> did you go in raw after that? Like, nah, you he gotta does. go in with some no, not like no condom. I'm just talking about no performance enhancers. Oh, I don't know. Just natural. so you can measure up. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. Nah. I, but, but yeah, Adam has definitely been. Um, he was having fun when he thought it was this like this sacred thing that the yeah. three of them had between yeah. each other. But yeah. once Jason just hit him with real nigga shit, like I wouldn't be surprised if their sex life died <clears> for a little bit. But what if it's died a little bit now? It was up when he thought they were all on the same yeah, page. But yeah. now that he doesn't think that the person that he let hit his wife respects him, he might not even get it up. As a man, it's not the same no more. Yeah, he loves us so much. You know, that's probably that's he probably wouldn't. what happened with the Indians and the swastika. Like when you know the white people was like, yeah. "Yo, you know what this means in our country, oh, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. It means something bad, right? Right. But it means something completely different. To uh, him. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good point, but it could be a reach at the same time. Yeah. yeah. I think he he's at the point where he's complaining about everything that isn't the problem to help him avoid the problem. Yeah. Because you the problem is something that's already done. You can't go back and unfuck your wife. <laughs> no, nah, you can't. It's over. So just avoid it. Just keep fucking reaching. Yeah. Just avoiding the topic completely. <clears throat> but yeah, but he pretty much what was pressing his ass, bro. He had to... Edit the podcast, edit his reaction out. It was mm -hmm. it was bad. But let's move over to what the real spicy stuff is. 